Hi. Hey, how are you? Hi, I'm okay. How are you? Yeah, everything's okay. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. And today I have some the blood slide dissolve for you. Mm -hmm. Here is your blood slide dissolve. Okay. And from the result, everything is okay, but it's at the cholesterol level. Uh -huh. The blood slide dissolve indicates that you have a really high cholesterol level. Oh no, wait. So am I like eating too much or what am I doing wrong? Oh yeah, it's make up. Maybe you can eat like a lot of fast food, mm -hmm. but don't worry about it. And we'll write uh, some a uh, description for you. It's a uh, libitor. Lipitor, which also goes by the generic name atorvastatin, was discovered in August of 1985 by the Park Davis Pharmaceutical Research Facility in Ann Arbor, Michigan, led by Bruce Roth. Roth and his co-workers were researching atherosclerosis, or the thickening of artery walls. Between its release in 1996 and 2012, Lipitor became the best-selling drug of all time, making over $125 billion U.S. dollars. The patent on Lipitor expired in 2011 and is now sold as a generic called atorvastatin. Atorvastatin belongs to a group of drugs called HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors, aka statins. Lipitor treats high cholesterol by reducing low-density lipoprotein, or bad cholesterol, levels and increasing levels of high-density lipoproteins, aka good cholesterol. The synthesis of atorvastatin begins with a 1,4-dione and isoascorbic acid, a stereoisomer of vitamin C. These starting materials are transformed to become the two precursors of Lipitor, which undergo a polymer synthesis reaction to form a primary amine and a substituted pyrrole ring. After removing the protecting groups and adding calcium acetate, the molecule atorvastatin calcium, or Lipitor, is formed. Lipitor is part of a group of drugs that lower cholesterol levels. Bad cholesterol, aka low-density lipoproteins, are combinations of fat and proteins produced in the liver by an enzyme called HMG-CoA reductase. Both types of cholesterol, both bad LDL and good HDL, are necessary, but LD form plaques in the arteries, making it harder for blood to flow through and potentially causing blockages. Lipitor works by binding to HMG-CoA reductase, changing the shape of the active site. This way, the enzyme cannot create more LDL. Lower LDL levels mean less risk of heart attack and stroke because there's less plaque buildup. Lipitor pills are white and oblong. The tablet should be swallowed whole and should not be chewed, crushed, or broken. It is recommended to take Lipitor at night before bedtime to optimize its effect, but it can be taken at any time of day. It should, however, be taken around the same time each day. Lipitor can be taken with or without food and is taken orally. The FDA puts Lipitor in pregnancy category X, or contraindicated in pregnancy. This means that humans or animals taking Lipitor while pregnant gave birth to offspring with fetal abnormalities, and Lipitor is not recommended for people who are pregnant. Serum cholesterol and triglyceride, the primary targets of Lipitor, are vital for a healthy pregnancy. Lipitor can also get into breast milk and harm a nursing child, so breastfeeding is not advised while taking Lipitor. Common side effects reported by patients taking Lipitor include difficulty urinating or defecating, headaches, hoarseness, pain, runny nose, tenderness, and nausea. Less common but more serious side effects include type 2 diabetes, liver enzyme abnormalities, and muscular disease. In very rare but serious cases, Lipitor can cause a condition that results in the breakdown of muscle tissue leading to kidney failure. For this reason, Lipitor is not recommended for people with a history of strokes, liver disease, kidney disease, or thyroid disorders. Thank you, Lipitor. You should eat 
last five school and do exercise more regularly. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you.